ಸದಾಶಿವಸಂಭಾ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯಮ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರ I welcome you all with my love and respects. Today I am so happy with this Arunachala's Prasadam. Our Arunachala Shura Temple Chief Priest has come here today with the Prasadam. actually i am more happy than when they when the colombo university decided to give a doctorate to me two days before i received that news today i am more happy than the doctorate news today my message is supposed to be the kundalini shakti your secret key to success but i'll say a few words on arunachala first <laughs> see each chetra the temple energy center as some password that's the right thing some password to access the energy installed in the chetra you see each chetra each temple is a energy circuit energy mandala created by some enlightened being for example the parni is the energy circuit created by a great siddha called bohar bohar and his guru dandamani swamigal both of them lived there that's a chetra created by bohar the energy circuit and tanjur temple the energy circuit created by a siddha called karuvurar tirupadi enlightened master called konganavar so each temple is energy circuit created by an enlightened master and always near the garbha mandir of the temple that master samadhi will be there because that is an energy circuit even if you go to tanjavur just behind the temple the karura samadhi will be there in parni just near the subramanya sanidhi the bogars tomb the samadhi will be there you see tomb is not a right word tomb is a place where the dead bodies are kept after mummified but the samadhi is the place where the body which is no more required to do what they want is kept understand there is two different big difference tomb is a place where the body is no more useful is kept samadhi is the place where the body no more required is kept no more useful is different and no more required is different no more useful means dead but no more required means whatever they want to do they have done and they can go on doing what they want to do without that body that's what we call samadhi all the great kshetras is great incarnations avatara purushas siddhas energy field the sacred energy mandala energy circle energy circuit created by them i can go on giving you thousands of examples thousands of energy mandalas exist in the bharat the 
that is why the whole Bharat is an energy mandala practically. I was doing the other day research. Even with so much of corruption, you should know India is the lowest crime rate in the whole world. Lowest crime rate. Recorded and unre un unrecorded crime. And lowest number of people die in any natural calamity, only in India. Lowest number of people. In natural calamities like a heavy rain, heavy flood, heavy tsunami, earthquake, lowest nature made calamities because the energy centers, the energy mandalas, they protect. So each energy mandala has a password to access the energy of Chidambaram, you need to physically go and have darshan. Then that is the password, you will have the access to the energy to access the energy of the Tiruvarur, in Tiruvarur, the Tamil Nadu there is a place, Chetra Tiruvarur, if you take birth, your body, physical body has to happen there, then you will have the access, that is a password, to have the access to that energy mandala, that is a key, secret key, to access the Tiruvarur's energy. And Varanasi, if you leave the body there, that is a secret key to access the energy of Varanasi and get enlightened, get liberated. So each energy field, energy mandala has a secret key to access that power. But I tell you, the most easy password, most easy password, easy key. For example, you can't take birth in Tiruvarur once more. Already your birth is over. You can't, you can't even plan to die in Varanasi. I have seen hundreds of sadhus who go and stay there, spend 20 years to die in Varanasi. They will have some cough, cold, knee pain and they will be taken to an hospital which is just outside Varanasi and they will die there. I have seen. Unless Kalabhairava allows, you can't die in Varanasi. Hundreds of people, old people are the sadhus, they go and live in Varanasi for 20 years waiting for death. Just simple cough or cold, fever. They will go to some hospital which is just outside the boundary of Varanasi. Die there. So you can't wait for the death in Varanasi. Too difficult password. And same way Chidambaram, handicapped people may not be able to go. So password, which may be difficult for at least 10% of the population. Some way if you are handicapped, visually or physically or even mentally. If I have to add the mentally handicapped people, it, can, it will not be just 10% 10, 10 it will be more than that. I tell you, of course, there is one password, universal password, the Arunachala's password, to access the energy, the energy mandala of Arunachalishwara. Arunachalishwara Kshetra was the energy mandala created by Arunagiri Yogishwara, a great Siddha, great Mahapurusha, incarnation of Shiva himself, even in Arunachala temple also, just behind the temple, his Jiva Samadhi is there still. And most easiest password designed to access the energy mandala is Arunachala's password. Nothing, just remember. Smaranat Arunachalam. The moment you remember, you have access to the energy mandala, the energy circle, the energy of Arunachala Kshetra. The moment you remember, he is there. You don't need to take birth, you don't need to live there, you don't need to die there, you don't, need, you don't even need to go and visit there. Just remember. Understand? 
even natigas even the atheists can do this even for wrong reason you remember you are liberated <laughs> even for the wrong reason whether right reason or wrong reason smaranat arunachalam just remember you are liberated the very remembrance connects you with that highest possible energy the arunachaleshwara the living energy mandala energy circle spiritual incubator just like every energy field has a password the password to access the energy of your own energy field this body see gita says chetra your body is also a chetra it is an energy field you just do not know the key or the password the password to access the energy of your own energy field energy mandala your own body is kundalini shakti is yes, i brought it <laughs> just like so many techniques methods process to access the different energy fields in the world kundalini is the key password to access the energy field of your own body the chetra bhagavad gita there is a beautiful chapter called chetra kshetranya vipaga yoga signs of the chetra field and knower of the field chetranya the kundalini is the key what is kundalini exactly in all of you the huge unimaginable potential energy which stays in the form of the non mechanical parts of the brain just because you have human body don't expect all parts of your brain is functioning the brain which is related to lungs is functioning the brain which is related to heart is functioning the brain which is related to liver is functioning whatever organs are alive and active in your body the parts of the brain which controls those organs and parts of the body is alive and active but that does not mean all parts of your brain are active the facts and scientific researches say even for einstein only 13% of the brain was active just on three the modern day scientific rishi who can just put the whole thing together each einstein's article when i write when i read i can very clearly connect it to some uh, sloka or sukta of the upanishads just day for yesterday i was reading an article in the youtube where he says the whole thing is whatever is is already definite and already ended already orchestrated by the force which our concept or logic cannot grasp so clear very clear even his brain is only 13% active 13% so just because we have human brain that does not mean all the our whole brain is alive and active awakening non mechanical parts of the brain is what we call awakening the kundalini shakti there is a intense 
potential seed energy residing at the root of your spine which is awakened through the proper process i can i can call it the potential bioenergy through the proper process when it is awakened your whole body whole brain whole mind becomes alive and you have access to the energy field the energy mandala of your own body energy circle of your own body there is a great lady saint who knows the science of sacred feminine in tamil nadu her name was avvayar very great saint she gives the whole science of kundalini in her stotra towards ganesha she sings a beautiful verses on ganesha in that very beautifully she describes the science of kundalini just through the process of air how to awaken the fire of kundalini shakti in your body an experience the ultimate success in the outer world and in the inner world if your non mechanical parts of the brain is awakened the first side effect of it will be the huge outer world success not as a main effect side effect the main effect will be enlightenment itself the science which she describes is what we are practicing in the name of shambhavi last two days the vyana science which we are practicing is a process directly from her avayar so we'll get into the shambhavi the process of vyana awakening the kundalini shakti and let you all experience and radiate enlightenment so i thank the arunachalishwara devasthanam temple priest and offer my humble respects for bringing the prasadam of arunachalishwara and we all thank him for being here on behalf of nityananda dhyanapetam and me let you all achieve and radiate enlightenment let you all experience and radiate the eternal bliss nityananda thank you